I'm going to compare the Degree Zima Pro against my Prower 820 from Pentair and hopefully I'm going to be stunned and surprised by the capabilities and the results of this more advanced unit. I've been using the Pentair Prower 820 for a number of years now and through those years I've discovered all the problems with it and I think that the Zima Pro that they sent me is going to solve all those issues. So the key thing that any pool cleaner needs to pay attention to is filtration. So the Prowler comes with these type of filters right here. So this has two small windows to pick up the debris from the bottom of the pool and quite frankly I've got to be honest over the years it's done a pretty good job. Now when you go over here and look at the Zima Pro it's got two of these big filter baskets powered by I think 250 watts of suction but in addition to that it has these activated charcoal purification uh, drawers and there's four of these inside so in addition to filtering you're also getting your pool water cleaned up and it's it's easy enough to put these back in to where you don't even need to look at it to get them to pop back into the thing now over here on the prowler this is a much heavier unit and you got to put this in from the bottom the newer units uh, allow this to go in from the top but I think you can see the, one of the biggest problems I've got with the Prower series and that's that it has a cable and over time that cable is going to fail and let me show you what I mean first you really want to deal with 60 feet of, of all this cable and the weak point is right here where the cable comes into the head unit. And what happened is that over time, moving this back and forth caused the wires to become separated and demanded that I replace this cable. Well, look at what a replacement cable costs. They cost a fortune. And when I got it, it actually didn't even work. I mean, look at this confusion of cable here. Over here on the Zima, everything is going to float. You don't have that problem. But what I had to do was I actually had to figure this out myself. When the prower was in the pool with the new cable and the float that came with it, it would try and go up a wall and then fall over. So I called Pentair support and they didn't have a clue. And I finally figured out that it was the buoyancy. So I had to do some experimentation to add the right amount of pool noodles to this to get it to work. So Pentair, shame on you for not, one, producing a cable that was instantly replaceable, and two, not being able to tell me what the solution is. I mean, do you really want to pay this amount of money to keep this system going? Well, over here on the Zima Pro, it doesn't have that problem because this unit floats on top of the water and so there's not going to be the stress on the cable <coughs> that I experienced over here in the Pentair. Now the other thing which hopefully is just obvious from looking at these two systems you know the cable just gets in the way it's all over the place. So getting back to the initial point is am I going to get a good clean with the Zima Pro? Even if you don't use the app, you can set it right here on the front to go ahead and start, and you can tell it, do the floor, do the walls, or do both. And it's got ultrasonic radar in here, which is actually gonna map out the bottom of my pool and then run in a disciplined pattern to ensure it covers everything. There's no guarantee that this is gonna cover the entire pool, because when you turn it on, it basically just goes in a random pattern and hopefully your pool gets clean. Now with any pool you're going to have your problem areas where your robotic pool cleaner hasn't been able to effectively clean and that has caused me with this Pentair unit to have to sweep and brush the uh, dirt to make sure it gets into a spot where this thing is going to find it. So that's going to be the key test of the Zima 
is will it climb the steps, because that's where the issue is, to get to the dirt that collects on the ledges. Well, enough said. If you want to know about the app, I'm not going to take you through that. Uh, you can look at other videos and they'll take you through how easy it is to set this up. But let's get to what we all really care about, which is, does it clean better than this? Let's look at some of the problem areas. You can see here on this step that I've got some sand and a leaf. And this is where the prowler has been incapable of cleaning. In addition, down at the bottom of the pool in the deep end, you can see plenty of grass cuttings and leaves from when I mowed the yard yesterday. But the other place that I've got a problem is down here at the edge on this narrow ledge right here. You can see the sand that's accumulated also down there at the bottom. And as we move around, you can see on the steps that this has also been a real problem area for me. Typically, I've had to sweep that into the pool to get it clean. Another area where the power has an issue is in this deep corner down here. You can see everything that accumulates down there because of the jet drops it. And then, of course, I've got additional grass down at the bottom. I'm not going to use the app to get it going. So stick it in. Let the air escape. It sinks on in. I'll turn it on. I'll set the mode. I double checked it was still on overall. And now I'll just click start. And off it goes. Now when I did do the app, I told the app what the dimensions of my pool were. So that should all be downloaded into there. And we'll see how it goes. Now it's lifting itself up out of the pool. Let me go grab it before it turns off. It'll stay there for five minutes. Well, there you go. Look at all that grass it picked up. The other one is about the same. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this review up. It's actually been a couple days because I wanted to run this for a couple days to get an independent assessment of how well it does mapping out the bottom of my pool in addition to whether it got those trouble spots. So first of all, I think it's getting all of the pool. Uh, I think every time I run it, I see the pattern adjust a little bit and I believe it's covering more ground efficiently. In terms of the trouble spots, well, you just saw from the uh, earlier video that it gets up the steps, it gets up the ledges, it goes everywhere I need it to go. So I'm giving this thing a thumbs up. I wish they had this available back when I bought my initial Prowler 820. Comments? Throw it down below. I'm just a regular pool owner, not a pool expert, but I love this thing.